see me. Let me in. Yeah? Yeah. Why did you feel the need to write a song about Kurt Cobain? When we started writing this record in September <coughs> in New Orleans, uh, I wrote lyrics for two songs, I Took Your Name and You. A month after that, River Phoenix died. He was a very good friend of mine. He was like my brother. And his death impacted me profoundly and made me unable to write music, unable to write lyrics for five months. Because I didn't want to write more songs about death and sadness. And I was very sad at his death. When I did start writing again, um, I wrote What's a Frequency, Kenneth, and Crush with Eyeliner, and Circus Envy. And we were well into the record and recording it when Kurt died. And at that point, I just had to, I just threw up, I, I threw up my hands and said, fuck it, I've got to get this off my chest. So I wrote the song to Kurt, for Kurt, about Kurt. My first thought, of course, was how unimportant our record seemed in the light of something like that. And then, of course, the next day, my thought was, well, what could be more important than this record? I mean, it, Kurt, if anything, would have wanted us to finish the record and make it great and make it as good and, and strong as possible. So that was where we turned our attention. Yeah. And he had heard the record prior to, um, in November, we drove around Georgia. And he played me some Nirvana stuff and Hole stuff, and I played him the early demo tapes of Monster. And we were swapping ideas and talking about it. And um, I mean, not that pleasing a dead friend is the only reason that we continued the record. Obviously, it's not. But in in light of his death, I think all of us felt a, a little bit more of an inspiration to finish the record. Yeah.